The concept of infinity has always fascinated mathematicians, physicists, and philosophers, especially the German mathematician George Cantor, who told us there are different kinds of infinities, and some infinities are bigger than others. To get you closer to this idea, let's talk about Hilbert's Infinite Hotel, a thought experiment brought to life by the German mathematician David Hilbert in the 1920s. Imagine a hotel with an infinite number of rooms, one day the hotel is completely full with an infinite number of guests and the man comes along looking for a place to stay. At first you may think there is no room for the new man, but the hard-working manager decides to make room for him, simply by asking the guests in room 1 to move to room 2 and the one in room 2 to move to room 3 and so on. The person in room N moves to room N plus 1. Since there are an infinite number of rooms, the first room will always be available for the new guests. This can be repeated for any finite number of rooms. Now seeing a bus with an infinite number of passengers arrives. This may astonish you at first. But the manager just needs to ask each current guest in room N to move to room 2N, which leaves us with the infinitely odd numbered rooms all filled with the new guests and the even numbered rooms with old ones. See, we have took an infinite set, split it into two equivalent infinite sets, both of which are the same size as the original infinite set, yet also the same size as the original infinite sets itself when combined. Seems odd, but actually even if an infinite number of buses fall of an infinite number of room seeking guests arrives, the manager can always find a way to make rooms for them. But even Hilbert's infinite hotel can only deal with the countable infinity of the natural numbers. If you can make a bijection between the set of the natural numbers and a certain infinite set, these two are equivalent, exactly what we did with Hilbert's infinite hotel. But while dealing with higher orders of infinity, these strategies will no longer be possible. Take for example the real numbers, you can never systemically make a bijection between the set of the real numbers and the, set and the set of the natural numbers, although they are both infinite, the set of the real numbers is bigger than that of the natural numbers. Helbert's infinite hotel was always a reminder of how hard it is for our relatively finite minds to gasp a concept as large as infinite.